Hey everybody from my YouTube, you guys. So this week was supposed to be the cover week. Last week we did the election video. I did a cover of God Bless the USA. Talked about the election. It's, that's going to be similar to this video, but more different. This video is about moms and dads and talking about a good relationship and bonding with your parents and marriage. It's kind of like another life lesson video, but it's more of a talking about parenting, talking about uh, why we have dads in our lives, why we have a mom in our life, why we have dogs in our life, and talking about relationships and bonding. And then I'm going to keep saying the word me, but that means me is a, as in my sister, Howdy. I don't want to say her name, so I'm going to say me with quotations like this. But it's just a video talking about pants and talking about how to bond with their siblings, how to, um, you know, just let them talk out their differences and stuff like that. So this this is this week's video. It's also going to be a cover too as well. We're doing Now We're Grown Up by Taylor Swift. It is one of the popular songs by Taylor Swift. I'm not a huge T-Swift fan, but this is one of her old self songs. So I was like, what the hey, let's just do it. So that's this week's video. This week's going to be really special and fun. And I'm also going to talk about what Mother's Day is all about and what Father's Day is all about. And yeah, and birthdays. So yeah, that's this week's video. Sorry this was long. Let me just go fast. I'm Hadley Hawkins. I've been doing YouTube for a very long time. But yeah, if you're new, please subscribe to my channel and watch my Lexi video first. And yeah. So let's get this video on the roll, and the first thing will be the cover. Okay, on the roll. Never 
channel thing called Dr. Love and talking about love stuff, and it's just really helpful for y'all. But Dr. Love, in my opinion, that's me. The advice I give to you is you guys, as parents and as kids, have to understand what love is about. Listen to two songs. Never Grow Up by Taylor Swift and Lose You to Love Me by Selena Gomez. Those songs are so powerful, you can be amazed. That's how I did at, with my other YouTube account when I talked about me and my boyfriend Bison. But my point is, you guys, love is love. The truth about love. If you are married, you have kids, you have two wonderful kids, and one particular kid I'm talking about, I don't want to mention anonymously, is she likes to go out and talk about bad about, about this about this dad of mine. I don't know. I mean, I do know who he is because he is my father, but I can't say it in my YouTube. But I mean, what I'm trying to say is, you can't just fight over love. If you want your love to be stronger, let love come to you. Don't let love come to them. If love becomes to them, then that's where you can get arguments. Be interested or be interesting. It's all about finding love with someone who cares about you, who will help you if you die, not to be weird, but if, let's say, something bad happens, like you actually broke your finger, you're losing blood, that's an emergency. That's when you have to cry for help, saying, oh my gosh, I'm in pain, like you gotta help. Like that is a great example, you guys. If something major happens, let's say it already happened, how this car accident. My mom was all in Texas working and she was just not actually dying, just like an ex she was dying to see Howie. She wants to see how she wants to feel her pain. She wanted to see her, but she had no one to come and see how because she was working in Texas. The first person that came to help Howie was Michelle Williams. Period. Dad came right after Michelle, and they were still together. All I'm saying is love is love. You can't fight with love. You gotta just let love be. If you let love be, then you'll be happy. You might have a few little arguments, nothing big, and then you'll still be a couple. You still do what you gotta do. Like you know what I'm saying. Love is love. You don't want love to be in a fight. Fighting is not the answer, you guys. Violence isn't the answer. Hitting people is not the answer. The answer is love is love. If you don't want to get hit, don't let love come to you. Don't let love come to them. That's fighting. That's what I'm trying to say. If you don't understand what love is, then maybe you should go to an expert, aka me, Dr. Love. But my point is, love is so good, you guys. Like, listen to a love player. Listen to love everything. I'm going to repeat this one more time. The truth about love. This is about who... This is about having a father and a mother who respects your kids, who never gets into like a, like a bigger fight, I should say. If it starts building up big, 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 then you got to be like, okay, we got to talk this through. We got to calm down, break it down a little bit. But when it's done being big, big, big and break down, then you're fine. Like, if you don't want to live in, I shouldn't say that far. Let's say, for example, I have a family. I should, no, I'm trying to think I should remove that. Let's say this family has two dogs, two kids, and has a mom and a dad. Okay. So this family is a great family to be with. Um, what I'm trying to say is the mom and dad used to understand is 
Okay, we need, we can't let this affect how D, howdy. I mean, it doesn't affect me, and because that's not the family I'm trying to talk about, because this is a YouTube thing. Um, I am in that family. Don't get me wrong, but I'm making a point. Howdy just has a big hello of a the dad in that, in that family. And I'm also in that family. But like the dad in the family is, he's very nice. He has a job. He changed his name. I can't tell you what his name really is because that's not, that's not appropriate to talk about. He changed his name. He got a PhD in military history. He's known military history for a long time. He's born in Kentucky. He's a Kentucky person. He did certain things with his dad. He did certain things, hello, with his brother. And I'm not going to mention his brother's name. He had a mom and a dad. He had two, three siblings. He had him, Aunt Sherry, and Rodney. I said I wasn't going to mention his brother's name, but it's necessary at this point. Um, he, has, he has three. You get the point. The point is, this guy works his butt off. He has his boss on his, on his back name that I was talking about. He has this boss who pushes him to work hard. And sometimes it'll make him, not the boss, him, the dad, feel pressure. And he always has to type. And that's his job because he has to type about certain things. He, sometimes he'll write about the election that I talked about last video or about um, the fake new president, not going to be stupid, I'm sorry to say it's fake, but I'm just trying to make a good point, is, is because the world is in crisis right now, everyone is fighting. Love is love. Love is like ha having an election where you find the right president for our country. If Trump would have won, I mean, he will, that's not the point, but if he did one already, the coronavirus would be over, you guys. The pandemic would be shut down. It would be done. We would go back to our normal lives, our normal selves, our normal everything. No more wearing a mask. No more getting a temperature checked when we walk in in public to restaurants. No more anything. Like, that would be shut down, done, if Trump would have won. And you, oh yeah, I said it. And then what else? That, um, COVID. And I mean, if COVID is over, eventually then everything will be back to normal. No more fighting, no more, you know. It's all about the election and then, um, why we are stuck in our homes. Not exactly, I'm just talking about it because this is an updated version because a lot of people are getting sick from COVID. Khloe Kardashian got it. Uh, Kanye got it. Um, Adam Sandler got it, but he's still alive. The only person that died from Coronavirus is either, I, can't, I don't remember, it's either Joe Diffie or Kenny Waters. I don't know who did. Also, a big thing, uh, George Floyd died from something. That is a, another big thing. And Kobe Bryant died from something, from a helicopter crash. Even with his daughter, just the whole world is a little, like a doodle in the head because of COVID. I don't think it's just COVID, I think it's like COVID and then the election, like I said. Like, I get some people like Biden, and I don't, I'm, I'm not going to speak for bad terms. Biden is a great person. But if you want, 
someone who doesn't take away certain things that we have to have to survive. I mean, he won't take away dogs, but like things that you have to do for a living, you know what I mean? Then he won't do it. But if Trump was president, Trump would keep it. Make America great again, or keep America great again. You guys get the point. Now back to the love part. Love is so big right now. It's so hard. Going through tough times because of COVID. Going through tough times over the election. If you're going through a breakup, if you're going through anything hard and you're not. Or well, say if your mom travels once a month to go to Texas, that's hard too because you miss her so much. There's so many things that you miss about, and then you guys need to focus on the moment, the present. If you don't focus on what's important in your life, then how are you going to get through life? How are you going to get through anything? You need to own yourself, to own it. That's all I'm trying to say is, if you want an average, good, witch family, I shouldn't say witch, my bad. If you want an average family that's a great family for you, then do it. You want to be in a family with good atmosphere, not negative atmosphere, but if it's like a negative, like, joking atmosphere, that's fine. But, like, it needs to be positive, uplifting. Like, turn that fun upside down to stay positive. Like, a positive thing is, like, having a dad and mom and honoring them as an amendment, the First Amendment. You gotta honor them, even your dogs. Hello, Kimber and Booster, ring the bell. And even your other sister, me, me. The point is, my other me always gets into little controversial talks about with the dad and his average family that it gets a little halo overprotective. And then always has to say, hey mom, what should I do now? Like, mom, what, you know what I mean? You can't always be like, hey mom me, hey mom this. You can't always talk to mom. You got to work it out. If you don't work out your problems, then when life gets you, it bites you in the dust. You have to let it come to you, then come into them. That's why this video is getting way too long, but you guys get my point. Now I'm gonna end the video with this. You guys, I don't know, this has been a really hard time because of COVID and the election and I don't know what else. Oh, and traveling. And everything. So you guys, you need to focus on what's important. If you want an average family like this family, then be that person. If you're not in that family, then be someone who can help one another. You can open a door for an elderly person. Like, it's all about being honest and being open and talking. If you're not honest and open, then what are you, shy? Don't be shy. Be honest and open. That's all I'm saying. Now. I'm going to end this video from here, you guys. Thank you so much for coming. If you liked this video and want to do more about Dr. Love and love videos, let me know in the comments. This was super inspiring to do. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And as I say in my videos, peace out, Girl Scout, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.